forgot to bring my mic back up in front of me. Good morning, everybody. Uh, well, I upload these at 3 p.m. on Fridays, but uh, it's like 9 in the morning for me. <laughs> I uh, set an alarm for 7.15 to get this all done nice and early. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> so, what's on the docket today? Well, I'm going to open eight long stem dollar store three packs of Sword and Shield base set. Um, and that's going to take the place of two packs. Um, but I actually uh, am going to open up 22 packs, any or by that logic anyways. Because um, I'm going to open up five boxes. Um, or four packs or whatever. Man, I really am tired. <laughs> but I, I don't have time to wake myself up and stuff, so... We'll just do it as we go. We're opening the Grookey Collection, um, which uh, came out a while ago. Um, how, how old is that now? Like a year? I didn't get it until yesterday, though. Um, yesterday from when I'm recording this. Uh, I'm opening up a Toxtricity V-Box that, yes, it does have two other packs in there. And one of them is Evolutions, so that's a good one. And then we've also got... The new Caparaja, Toxtricity, and Poltegeist V tins. So, there's Toxtricity. There's Poltegeist. And there's Caparaja. And on the note of these tins, I've checked all three areas around me, okay? There is, like, no Pokemon cards in any of the towns that I go to. There's, like, a nice little triangle. That surrounds me where I can go. I can go here for cards. Um, I can go here for cards. Or I can go here for cards. And it, this is what they have. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, whew, I've got my sleeves, got my top loaders up there. Hopefully, let's. Uh, hopefully, we can wake. Hopefully, I can wake myself up here with a good pull. We're just going to hop right into it. Zashian. Pack art, sword and shield base set, Dollar Tree pack. Did anyone see that image where they just stabbed through the pack to hang it up? I forgot to turn it around. Early morning mistakes, guys. I'm sorry. Stonejourner V Max. And then a water energy. So, um, if that's what our luck's going to be like, I think we're off to a good start. Um, <laughs> no, just casual Stonger or VMAX. No, no, nothing, to nothing to worry about. It's no big deal. Boom, into the pulse pile. Let me set my to-do list off to the side. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, I, I don't know why I'm so groggy. Like, I got up, I went outside in the cold. Uh, to check something in my car, it wasn't what I, I, it wasn't there, I was actually in my coat pocket right here, but, man, maybe I should have got breakfast first or something, I don't, I don't know, F food is for weaklings, Pokemon cards are forever, Clubopus, Eldegoss, Eldegoss is a good pull for competitive, but I think I already have like 20 of them, so, also, no way am I going to play in competitive while it's legal. We still got, like, no events being held. I've never played an event before. I'm more concerned personally about BGC. Um, I mean, I will play the TCG if I get the chance. Um, offline, I mean, but... Vulpix? Valerian Rapidash? And a Grass Energy. Or Leaf Energy, as it were. Alright, but yeah, there's there's nowhere nearby that plays the Pokemon TCG. There's one place uh, that I go to regularly now that would, um, but there's not enough people. <laughs> Muna. Let's try again. Roselia, there we go. Thwacky. Four more skinny packs to go, and then we get to move on to the real goods. Which, hey, Stone Journer V. That's that's already a decent pull. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get better than that. Silicobra. 
split bug. And a potion. Okay. Another Zashian pack out here. So yeah, of course we want that beautiful golden Zashian V. And we've actually pulled the Zamazenta full art golden V. Um, I forget which video it was in. Um, and it wasn't the highlight of that video. If I remember correctly. Um, probably included a Kanto Power Collection then. Roselia. Tapu Coco V. Alright. Not a bad pull. And then a Darkness Energy. So, that's another good pull from a Dollar Store pack. We're doing alright today. Let's see there. Let's get the same old sleeve. Okay, let's put this one back. Go ahead and sleeve it on up and put it with the Stonejourner VMAX. Only two dollar store packs left. I highly doubt we get anything better than that. In fact, getting a V card from a dollar store pack at all is already asking for too much. So, the fact that we've got a V and a V Max, I'd say we're doing real well on these dollar store packs here. Joltik. And then, what do we got behind it? There we go. Reverse Hollow Acro Bike. Alright, not bad. And a Great Ball. Okay, last pack. Got the Zashian pack art going on. Is it a sign? No, it isn't. This is a dollar store pack. Again, the fact that we got Tapu Coco and Stanger and a VMAX. Already, like, using up all our luck. And I hope it's not for the, video, the entire video. Because if you've been with us, you know we've had some terrible pulls recently. That New Year's video went okay, um, but Ooh, I think it's only because I opened a Hidden Fates tin. Wulu sent to Scorch. And Team Yell Grunt. Out of focus, but there you go. It w went in as I was taking it away. Alright, well, now let's go into the Grookey Galler Collection box which contains an evolution pack, um, I think two Cosmic Eclipse packs, and then I think that's a Unbroken Bonds pack back there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure on the pack selection, but it, re it looks really nice. So part of me wants to keep this sealed, but part of me just, you know, really has been dying to crack into it because I've been seeing this thing sit on the shelf for weeks and weeks and weeks, and perhaps months, and I just haven't bought it. Um, at the place that I went to to get this from. Um, uh, yeah, Unbroken Bonds, uh, Cosmic Eclipse. There's our Evolutions pack. And there's another Cosmic Eclipse pack. Here's our Zashian V Jumbo promo. So I'm very happy to get a Zashian V Jumbo. We've got so many Jumbo promos that I really don't care about, but... Zashi and V. I'll take that. Throw that there. It's trash. Code card. I'm keeping the code card on this one. My apologies if you enjoy code card giveaways. But if you haven't seen my New Year's thing yet, I did give away some codes at the end. Um, so. Yeah. So here is the pin for Grookey. Grookey pen. Nice and in focus there. And then we've got the promos. Grookey, which is a promo. And then Scorbunny and Sable, which are not promos, but hollows. Um, and... I don't think you can normally get these as a hollow in the base set, so that's really nice. And I think they're basically promos, <laughs> but they're also not. It's kind of weird. Um, 
love Third Sleep. Get out. All right, there we go. So I put promos with the uh, the pulls pile because I at least put those in the pages. Um, I'm not sure what to do with Hollow uh, Grookey and Sobble though, or Hollow Scorbunny and Sobble though, because they're not actually promos. Um, but they're hollows, and you can't get a hollow in the base set packs, at least from what I've experienced. So, where do I put them, you know? Um, what binder do I put them in? I don't know. Well, let's see. We'll go Evolutions, Cosmic Eclipse, and Unbroken Bonds. Or, no, we'll go Unbroken Bonds second. Chronological order. Um, no, let's do Evolutions last, because... I think that Zard is worth more than the Resha Zard and the Charizard and Brixen. So, I'm gonna start off with Unbroken Bonds. See if we can pull said Resha Zard. Card trick. Boom. Psychic Energy. Duskstone. Haunter. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Coughing. Doduo, Poliwag, Spritzy, Lickitung, Reverse Hollow Togekiss, and a Landorus Incarnate. And that is a pretty weak hollow, but it is a hollow, so. I can barely even tell. Alright. Cosmic Eclipse time. Got Sogaleo and Lunala there. What you'll want to pull is either one of those trainer cards, um, which are the secret rares, um, Charizard and Brixen, I believe, or, um, I don't know, I guess like the, the really cool full art of Solgaleo and L Lunala and Lily. Um, I don't have any of those yet, so that'd be cool too. And then of course you also want Arceus, Dialga, Falchia, that's right. The ADP and Zashi and ADP. There's Iglybuff, Will, Golduck, Palpatode, Jangmoo, Deerling, Golet, Dupider, Galade and Wally Secret Rare going into a non hollow beware there. But this is the pull, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is the one we wanted. Galade and Wally. Let me give that a Dragon Shield. get in focus yeah let me do the super close-up one and now drift it back there we go that that strategy seems to work a lot all right <clears throat> something in my throat I need to drink some water but there is another pull i'll take it i will take it coming into our next cosmic eclipse pack Four from the back, card trick, and boom, metal energy. It's a sign that we're going to have something to do with the Alga, because the Alga is a steel type. That logic is flawless, don't at me. Uh, Anerith, Krikatoon, Rowlet, Phantom, Alolan Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee, so cute. Reverse Hollow Krikatoon, and Macargo Non Hollow. I wonder what the best Macargo card is. Because I like Macargo, but not that much, but I am interested. So, I'm like, hey, uh, I'm curious, what is the best Macargo card? Because people don't typically care about Macargo. Poor Macargo. That's alright, I think you're cool. Evolution's time. Three from the back this time. Can we get that Charizard, or at least a Hollow? Because the hollows in this set are beautiful, and they're what's going to be worth money. Pokedex. Or, er, that's... Yeah. It's out of focus, though. There we go. Funter. Energy Retrieval. Magnemite. Pikachu. Machop. Weedle. Doduo. Nidoking Break. And a Dugtrio. It's either Radicate, Dugtrio, or Electrode crashing the party. And I think we've 
I, I still haven't put away the pulls from the New Year's video because that was only a couple days ago. And I'm pretty sure we got a Nitto King break in that one too. Say what you want, but we are consistent on this channel with uh, our pull luck. Oh, so uh, that takes us into the Toxtricity V-Box. I'm just going to put this pin up with the others real quick. And... Toxtricity V time. Here we go. There's a nice little bend there. Slide the finger. And... Boom. I've heard people kind of dislike the Toxtricity V box, but I don't know why you would. Two base set packs, uh, Cosmic Eclipse, and then Evolutions? How can you dislike that pack selection? It's great. If two Sword and Shield base set packs is what's hindering you, when you can get this, uh, the golden Zash Zom uh, the golden Zashin or Zamazenta, that's actually a pretty good set. Here is the promo uh, Toxtricity V. Get in focus, please. There we go. Drift it back, drift it back, boom. All right. I just frisbeed the jumbo. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys that. That one, that one was a lot better. All right. So two base set packs of Sword and Shield, a Cosmic Eclipse pack, and then we're gonna finish with that Evolutions pack again. I'm gonna hang on to the code card. All right. Can we pull Zashi and Zamazenta? Trick. Boom. Fighting energy. Hitmon Lee. Talk about fighting. There he goes. Kicking on the top of the top of a mountain. Who's that in the background of the card? Is that a Hitmon Chan? Yes, it is. I've never I've never noticed that. That's really cool. Rare candy. Lucky egg. Gossip Link. Silla Cobra. Pile's starting to throw itself off each other, and it's not even that big. Yamper. Krabby. q -font. Reverse Hollow Lapras. And a Ninetales non-hollow. We'll take that. I like Ninetales. Alright. Sword and Shield pack number two. This pack art is not getting saved. That's... That's a rough one. All right, lightning energy. Quillfish. Energy switch. Dotler. Rookity. Silslipede. Snom. Mawile. Gossifler. First Hall Score Bunny. And a Senna Scorch. It's our second Senna Scorch of the, of the video. Um, and real quick, uh, I was gonna try a new setup with a little tripod in my phone so I could record the pack openings in front of my phone camera, which would go a lot better probably, and then just face cam with my webcam, and especially with the screen shrunk, it would look a lot better. Here's the thing, the tripod sucks, and also I don't have enough space, so if I were to do that, I would need to... Oh, I just messed with OBS on accident. Uh, we're still recording though. Okay, good. I think I almost pressed the streaming key, and that's not a good... <laughs> uh, okay, this is how bad my setup is. I'd have to pick my keyboard up and yeet it off the desk, uh, and then I'd need to reach over and press start, or use my mouse from over there to press start recording on OBS. That way I've got an area for my cards uh, <laughs> to be seen, because it's just a keyboard sitting here blocking off the rest of the desk right now. And if I had a tripod, that would scooch me back about this far. And then I'd have to just reach around. 
and hold my arms up in the air. Um, and it's just not great. Hopefully my setup will improve within the next 17 months. That's a bit of a bit bit of an exaggeration. I think it's coming sooner rather than later, but to just to let you know what I'm working with, guys, it's is not easy. Oh, also, I said the tripod sucks, didn't I? Here's why. You can't adjust it to just any look any uh, position. But more importantly, it falls down. It just falls down. It I, 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 also, it risks destroying my phone or just turning off the power when I put it in the thing. It's just not great. What I need is this much smaller, like, gimbal. And I need... That was a Christmas present. So, throw. Dart tricks. Cricket top. Apom. Woobat. Ducklet. Swirlix. Reverse hollow Celio, so no secret art. Uh, trainer card, and there's Armaldo for the rare. Uh, Armaldo's cool. No pulls from this box yet. So you know what that means. Charizard time. That's what that means. This this pack is okay. That's not that. This pack did not come away well at all. <laughs> okay. Three cards for evolutions. Boom. Nidorino, right into focus, I like that. De-Evolution Spray, Rock's Grit, Poliwag, Seal, Magikarp, Lightning Energy, Caterpie, Reverse Hollow Vulpix, and a Mega Pidgeot EX. That is a decent pull right there. Not quite the pull we would like to see, given that we didn't see anything else for the rest of the box, but that's okay. We still pulled a Mega Pidgey EX. Can't really be ungrateful. Uh, all right. And now onto the tins. Pulky guys, Toxtricity, and Copper Raja. I do not know the pack selection in these, and I don't know if it's decent or not. And if it's not good, that might explain why it's been sitting on store shelves. <sighs> As the only Pokemon product that has not been bought. Okay. Starting off with a Rubble Clash pack on top, so that's already a bad sign. Caparaja uh, V. Very out of focus, there we go. Boom. Let me just take out a little pile saves here. Just have them already ready to go. Just leave it on up. And this is a promo. So that can go into the promo binder. Um, and then we'll open up the others as we get there. So, all right. Rubble Clash, Rubble Clash, Sword Shield Base, Sun and Moon Base. I think I can see why people don't like this product. There's no big hitter. Like I said, I don't think that Sword and Shield Base set is a bad set. I also don't even think about that about Sun and Moon Base set, because you can get those Espeon and Umbreon Rainbow Rares. That might just be personal preference, but like that's how I feel. Um, just, there's nothing that really hits heavy, you know? Nothing that strap slaps contrastingly. Um, like, there's no... You can't pull a Charizard. Um, you can't pull a Charizard, and you can't pull a Charizard. I'm sorry, there's, there's other stuff that's really good to pull, but, like... We all know that Charizard is the big ticket item all, all the time. Um, like I said, I that Cos Cosmic Eclipse, there's a lot of good pulls in that set. Um, Water Energy, Full Heal, starting off with Rebel Clash, Training Court, Dublade or Dublade, Sandy Gast, Roly Coley, 
Stunky Clefairy, full board, Reverse Hollow Helioptile, and a Snorlax non hollow. Double Clash Pack number two. Do the card trick. Bam! Darkness Energy. Scoop up now. I believe this is a competitive card. Chat out. Charger Bug. Growl Life. Impidimp. Bunnelby. Phantom. Dreepy, Reverse Hollow Galarian Mr. Mime, and a Hollow Flapple. Now heading into the Sword and Shield base set pack, which does not want to cooperate and open. Lightning Energy, Switch, Energy Retrieval, Heatmore, Nicket, Chinchow, Diglett, Pharisee, Goldeen, Reverse Hollow Galarian Berserker, and a Raichu, non hollow. Sun and Moon Base Set Pack. Deliver us from non hollow pulls. Do it with the power of Espeon and Umbreon, please. Four cards for the card trick. Fire. Dragonair. Lima. Hypno. Zubat. Torkoal. Rowlet. Drowsy. Cutie Fly. A reverse Hollow Butterfree and a Parasect Non-Holographic. So a complete dud of a tin there. Pulled you guys' turn to see what see what it's got. Test its metal. No, oh, there's the pulled you guys to be promo. That's enough. Uh, sleeve time. Put it in the pulls pile. I've tried to keep up with promos um, since XY, but uh, not XY base, but like the, uh, towards the middle and end of XY, which is when I got brought back into Pokemon for various reasons. Um, I never really fell out of it, but like I stopped being up to date um, briefly during Gen 5. But anyways, uh, I've, I've got like three promos from XY, I've got quite a few promos from Sun and Moon. I'm hoping with Sword and Shield I can at least like be so up to date that I can almost complete it with exception, oh, the only exceptions being like uh, the staff promos and stuff. Um, uh, I'm very tired. Uh, Pre-release promos for Vivid Voltage are going to be hard for me to get my hands on. I have not seen a pre-release kit of Vivid Voltage at either local game store near me, um, even though I tried very hard to get my hands on them. So, it's not my fault, that's for sure. Alright. Fighting Energy. Durant, out of focus. There we go. Electrode. There's always an electrode somewhere. Tool Scrapper. Squibbit. Galarian Mr. Mime. Caterpie. Barboach. Aracuda. Reverse Hollow Grimmsnarl. And a Snorlax. Not Hollow. Is that five packs in a row without any even remotely okay pull? Oh well. 
These things happen. We've been in a much worse place with our pulls since that Darkness Ablaze Charizard VMAX, so. Fire Energy. Shuckle. Luxio. Shuck the pull loose. Don't effle with Shuckle. That didn't work out well with censoring. Durant. Squilvit. Galarian Mr. Mime. Caterpie. Barboach. Iracuda. Reverse Hollow Palisand. And, ooh. Is that a hollow? It is not. That art is really good, though. That's, that is some really good Arcanine art. Ooh. Ooh. That's really cool. I really like that. Sword and Shield base set pack. We got Zamazenta on the front of this one. Tar Trick. Boom. Darkness Energy. Seeking. Hitmonchan. And then Hitmonlee's in the background of that one. That's so good. Great Ball. Minchino. Galarian Ponytail. Cottony. Score Bunny. Sulacobra. Reverse Hollow Cloister. And a non hollow Fever. So we are, what, seven packs in a row now? Seven packs in a row now. I thought we'd broken the streak with that Arcanine, but it wasn't a hollow, so. Seven packs at least without a hollow. Card trick. Summon Moon Base Set. Deliver us from non hollows. I call upon the power of. Psychic, Espeon, and Umbreon. Alright, Potion, out of focus. Hypno, out of focus. There we go. In focus again. Switch, Sandile, pick a pet. Spiro, Fomantis, Moralol, Reverse Hollow Passimian, and a. Oh, it is a hollow, but it's the worst hollow I've ever seen. Look at that. It's Now it shows up a little bit. <laughs> like a Volt, hollow. The best pull we've gotten in this entire thing. And last but not least, we've got we opened up the tus uh, the Toxtricity V box. Here's the Toxtricity V tin. Go ahead and sleeve it on up. Toxtricity V. Alright, and now the final four packs. Our hopes for this video reduced, but not completely abandoned. Golden Zacian or Rainbow Rare Espeon or Umbreon from Sun and Moon Day Set. Not the most exciting things in the world. But I would really like them because Zacian V, uh, or Zacian, has just rocketed into my top 10 favorites. And Espeon and Umbreon, if you've been paying attention, my absolute favorites of all time. So any Espeon or Umbreon card would get me excited. If I paid $200 for, I think, a Sandstorm pack, and I pulled, um, at least I think it's a Sandstorm pack, and I pulled a non hollow, but it was Espeon or Umbreon, I would tell you I came out ahead. Rebel Clash. Um, I believe that Boss's Orders full art is the one you want to see. Um, our pull rate for Rebel Clash used to be 50%, and now it's finally um, regressed to the mean of nothing. Psychic Energy. Durant. And, you know, speaking of Espeon and Umbreon, I'm wondering where, when they're going to get printed in a Gen 5 set. Palisand, Oleana, Squilvet. Galarian Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Barboach, Aracuda, First Hollow Stunky, Probo Pass, Non Hollow. Because um, Sun and Moon, they were in the base set. And then they were also in Hidden Fates, and I don't think they were anywhere else. But starting with the base set, ending with Hidden Fates, that's pretty decent. Um, in Generation 6, Umbreon was in Fates Collide, Espeon was in. Uh, Breakpoint. 
but I don't think they were in any other sets in Generation 6, and towards the end of it is a long time to wait for a single card. Um, or a pair of cards, at least. Metal Energy. Skyla! We like Skyla. Luxio. Draclok. Electabuzz. Natu. Leonhart likes Natu. Honedge. Impidimp. Magmar. Reverse Hollow Full Heal. And a non hollow Barracuda. Who would win in a deathmatch? A Barracuda or a Piranha? You see, we're scared enough to know that they're both vicious, but we're not knowledgeable enough to know why. At least I am. <laughs> I think the piranhas are just a bunch of tiny ones that rip you to shreds, and then barracudas are just actually one big fish, if I remember correctly. I haven't actually done a lot of research, I'm just... I'm wondering which one would hurt you worse, if it was just one, and which one would win in a fight. Corva Squire, Thwacky, Pokemon Catcher, Diglett, Skorupi, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, Skorupi Reverse Hollow. Alright, Golden Zashin, let's do it. Non Hollow Pultigeist in the Toxtricity tin, and not the Pultigeist tin. Alright, back to ask me on the number end real quick since we're on the last pack now. Sun and Moon base set. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't think it's going to be in battle styles. It doesn't seem like a set that would have Espeon and Umbreon in it. Um, it just doesn't seem like it. Alright, final pack. Espeon or Umbreon? What we're looking for. Darkness energy. We did pull an Umbreon on New Year's. Um... It was the weakest version, but it was an Umbreon nonetheless, so I was happy about it. Trumbeak. Potion. I think I see something back there. Whoops. Toracat. Poliwag. We're finishing on a high note at least, that's good. Skarmory. Moralol. Fomantis. Spiro. Reverse Hollow Alolan Eradicate. Guys, this is the video. Tauros GX. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's not great, but it's a secret rare, so it's at least, like, not a disappointment. Like, I'm not sad to get this. Alright, let's go over the pulls again, just real quick. Now we have Tauros GX. Get it on focus here. That'd be nice. That'd be awfully nice of you to do, camera, come on. Yeah, yeah there we go. Tauros. Toxtricity V promo, Poltegeist V promo, Caparaja V promo. That's right, all the tin promos were the best thing that we got. Mega Pidgeot EX instead of an actual normal holo, Toxtricity V uh, promo. It's the same promo, I think. Oh my goodness. Nidoking King Break, Gallade and Wally Trainer uh, Secret Art from Cosmic Eclipse, Grookey promo, uh, Hollow, Sobble, and Score Bunny, which aren't exactly promos. Top Coco V and a Stone Journer V Max. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, next week is going to be a doozy, and I genuinely mean that. Um, we are opening up an Elite Trainer box for Penny Fates, and no, I'm not bluffing on something that I don't have yet. I'm not saying that it's going to suddenly appear at Walmart or Meyer near me, and that I'll be able to get my hands on one. No, I have a second box in my hand. And it has friendship powers in it. Next week. Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. My biggest opening ever. At least in the early uh, history of this new channel. Uh, and Well, yeah, it is my biggest opening ever, actually. I don't think I've ever opened anything bigger than this. Um... Yeah, 10 packs of Hidden Fates. This thing was going for $300 before the reprints, and the reprints didn't even do that much. It's getting scalped at its price of $110 online markets, and you can't find them for MSRP unless they hit Walmart, which they definitely have not, at least not that I can tell. Like, 
you're you're shilling out double MSRP for this minimum, and that's that's uh it's a lot of money. Uh, I have one more that I'm gonna keep sealed forever, um, or at least for like long enough to the point where I can open them for some charity live stream event when I'm forty. <laughs> Uh, but this one, this beautiful thing, which is gonna be worth a thousand dollars before too long, I promise you, unless they do something ridiculous, like reprint it so much that it's worthless, which I don't think is possible, <laughs> like, this is going to be opened in next week's video, and I'm kind of nervous and kind of excited at the same time, uh, it's just... It's so much power to wield. Opening up the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. Hopefully our pulls are good. If you want to see that, hit the bell when you subscribe to be notified about that next video. It should be 3 p.m. Friday. Um, I'm not sure what day of the week that is. I'm not going to look at a calendar to guarantee it, but it's one week from, from when you're watching this video, I assume. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you enjoy next week's, and that we don't whip. Uh, I think I'm going to maybe throw in a pair of other Hidden Fates tins or Walmart boxes to make it an even 18 packs like we usually do. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.